yo no sé, hablar inglés y español a la misma vez como que es difícil porque yo no entiendo algunas palabras. Like, what am, how am I supposed to do this? Hey, my little Rosebud, bienvenidos a mi canal. For those of you that are new, hola, mi nombre es Rosemary, also known as Byrame on all social media, but I'll leave that link down below for you guys so you guys don't have to remember that. So today I decided to film this Valentine's Day look inspired. I am going to be doing a more neutral, subtle one, but I did want to incorporate glitter and a bold red lip. Can you blame me? Today I did try out two new products. The first one being the Maybelline 24 hour full coverage foundation. They do not have my shade because I did try this already before this video. They do not have my shade, so I did have to mix 110 and 128 so porcelain and warm nude because the 120 that's more in between that was a little too pink and i looked pink so it was not cute and i also tried the glam addict lashes today these are in the style flare i have tried other ones but i gotta say that these are probably my favorite ones you guys need to check her out she has some dope lashes. Yesterday I was wearing the posh ones. Posh? Posh? I was wearing those and those are bomb. You know that my favorite ones are the New Bouncem and the Style Bella. Those I will not replace for anything. They're my ultimate favorite. If anyone knows me, you know that those are what I'm wearing. But these, these are probably it. They're so inexpensive and they are really, really pretty. So I think these are the ones that I'm going to be wearing from now on. Mm -hmm. She did them. She did that. So if you're interested in learning how to create this look, then keep on watching. You know when your hair is growing and it just doesn't have... Like, you can't style it because it's in the growing process and it looks ugly. That's where I'm at right now in life. Don't mind my nails. They look hurt. I know I need to go get them done. But you know what? See the way my time is set up. Yeah. So antes de comenzar, we all know in order to have a flawless foundation finish, we do need to prep the skin. I am using the Energy De V from Lancome. Guys, this thing's amazing. By the way, moving on, vamos a usar esta base de Maybelline. This is a 24-hour full coverage foundation. I'm a little upset they don't have my shade. But it's okay because I mixed foundations and I got my perfect shade, which I am super excited about. Using a damp sponge, I'm just going to go ahead and use that to blend out the entire foundation all over my face. And may I say, I made a good concoction. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Siguiente voy a usar este Ultra HD Makeup Forever Concealer. I don't know what shade it is, but I will leave a link down below for you guys as well. So I'm just putting this in, obviously, the points where I want to highlight as well. Using the same damn beauty sponge, I'm just going to go ahead and pounce that all over my skin, making sure that I do not rub or swipe. I've said this plenty of times so you guys already know that do you guys prefer a brush to blend this out or a beauty sponge let me know i really want to know i'm curious para asegurarme that this makeup's not gonna go anywhere all night i'm gonna set it with the rcmh no color translucent powder And then using an 8 Cosmetics Kabuki brush, I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face with the same powder. Usando el bronzer Bahama Mama, we're going to bronze up the face a little because we look in a little pale. So we're going to do the jawlines, the cheekbones, and also the forehead.
using that same translucent powder with the damp sponge, I'm just gonna cut the cheeks so I have a chiseled contour. So hoy vamos a estar usando la paleta de Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. We're going to be dipping into burnt orange using a defined crease brush from Zueva. So this shadow you want to put it in the crease of your eye and then we're going in with a blending brush just to blend out any harsh edges. Now going in with raw sienna using the same blending brush. This is the double-sided from Anastasia that comes with the palettes. You already know that I love this, so don't even question it. Now, no one likes harsh edges, so picking up a Morphe M330, we're just gonna difuminate the edges, going back and forth in swiper motion. Using this dark shade, I don't know how to pronounce it, so don't judge me. We're going to be picking that up with the same blending brush and just blending that into our crease. Later, we are going to go in with the pencil brush to just define that outer corner a little bit more. And as you can see, I'm always going to be picking up the M330 to blend any harsh edges that I might see. And here's the pencil brush that I told you about. This is the 230 Lux pencil brush from Zueva. I'm just using that to define the outer crease a little bit more. You want to make sure you're difuminando all these edges porque nadie le gusta andar con una línea ahí que divide. No, 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 no. Make sure you are blending, please. Recogiendo un angled brush and using my concealer, I'm just going to cut the crease. I'm not going to go all the way. I'm just going to go midway. And apparently this makes me happy. Mm -hmm. And then using the other side of that blending brush from Anastasia, I'm going to just blend that out. And moving on to my favorite part, picking up the Stila Shimmer Glitter Shadow. We're going to be putting that all over the lid. Ahora para difuminar esta línea, I'm going to be picking up red ochre in a blending brush and just placing that right in between those two to blend that all out. Hice mis cejas afuera de la cámara porque I already did a separate video for that, so make sure you check that out. We are not using eyeliner today. The lashes I'm going to be using today are the Style Flare by Glam Addict. I did mention that in the beginning of the video. Guys, seriously, these lashes are amazing like they're so fluffy and what gets to me is that they're so inexpensive also if you guys want a separate video on how to apply lashes let me know in the comment section down below but do you see that do you see that mm -hmm. lash no lash i died moving to the bottom of the eye i'm just going to be picking up red ochre with a small pencil brush then, difuminándolo with uh, 227 from Zueva as well. Here, I'm just picking up the pencil brush and that darker shade. As you can tell, I'm always going back and forth with this fluffy brush because I do not like harsh edges. Siguiente, usando this Oh Darling from MAC. I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye and in my brow bone. Para los labios voy a usar este lipstick de Kat Von D in the shade Outlaw. I was feeling a little bold, but you could also pair this with a nude and some gloss and you'd be perfectly fine. Now you want to set the face. I'm going to be using the Make It Last from Milani Cosmetics. And I always like to spray my face before I do my highlight because I feel like it intensifies it a little bit more. Then picking up this blush brush, I'm just going to be blending everything all together. And that is it, you guys. Let me just slow-mo for you guys real quick. Mm -hmm. Yes, girl. 
All right, guys, so this is the final look. Espero que les haya gustado. And if it did, make sure you give it a thumbs up on your way out. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, déjame saber qué otros videos quieres ver. Leave them in the comment section down below. Any suggestions and any other Valentine's Day look inspired you want to see, just, just leave me all the comments you want. I like comments. Also, share it. Share it with your sister. Share it with your mama. Share it with your granddaughter. Share it with your cousin. Share it. Just share it with everyone. I would appreciate it. As always, los quiero mucho, and I will see you in my next video. Alright, so I mean incorporating Spanish isn't that bad, I guess. Alright guys, so that is it for the final look. You saw that spit. <laughs> I hope you liked it. I mean, I would wear this. I would wear this on a day out. But I don't got a date, so... At least not yet. I, I think I got it. Ooh, ooh. Should I do one more? Yeah, yeah. <laughs>